Hi class. Today we're going to talk about doing some automation in Reason. Simple stuff. Actually, any knob or plug or dial or anything you see in Reason can be moved and record that movement recorded and edited so that you can automate any single thing that you want to. Every single button in Reason. One of the really nice things about it. So today we're going to do a simple thing. We're talking about <clears throat> Just what if we want to have a fade in at the beginning of a tune and a fade out at the end? And how do we do that? We have a tune already. We've already sequenced it. We have our general levels on our mixer set. But suppose we want to do a simple thing like a fade in and a fade out. So I have a tune here, sort of old school soul tune. And I start off with some drums. And then I have the bass come in. And then the guitar comes in. So I have this layered sort of entrance before my melody starts. So after about six bars, my Fender Rhodes comes in. But you know, I'd like to maybe, you know, do a fade in. And we have over here the master fader. The master fader. So, but if I just change that level, then that's that's not good enough. I have to record the change. And you're saying, well, that's cool. I keep on messing with my faders, but nothing seems to record that. How do I do that? And so what we're going to do is we're going to click on the side here of the mixer so that it's selected, so that we see that it's sort of got this sort of orange light around it. And then um, I'm going to pull up the edit window, the arrange window, so that we can edit and arrange so that we can see this and we see my different instruments are there I've got loops and a bunch of things going on um, <clears throat> and what I want to do now is add a mixer track so I'm gonna go into my pull down here now see because I've uh, selected my mixer then I, under edit I have create track for mixer and you'll see that that pops up right here now all of a sudden I have a mixer track so that means that when I record any movement and if I have the mixer turned on and, I'm, and I hit record, then anything that I do in my mixer, I'm going to be able to uh, record. So <clears throat> I'm going to go back to the beginning of my thing, and I'm going to put on pre, so I get a little count off beforehand. And I'm going to start off with my master level at zero, so that I'm going to do this fade in at the beginning. So it's going to click off, uh, give me like a, one measure of a, uh, of a count off, and then we're going to start one, two, three, four. And now, as this is going, I'm going to pull this up slowly. And you can see that I'm starting to write. I now have a master level. Now, I've done that. And, you know, of course, moving with the mouse is never a great thing. But I can edit this now. So now, as soon as I started to um, touch the fader, then this master level opened up. I had an, a, a new automated level. And if I hit return, which is just shift and return, I'll go back to the beginning and you'll see now that I have this green bar here uh, around the master fader. The movement I just made has been recorded. And so let's just take a listen to what I did so far. I'll hit play. And I got this fade in going. It's a little rough, right? It's not quite smooth. And maybe everything's not quite where I want it. So what I can do is, I'm just going to double click on this. Double click on it, and I'll pull this up so I can see it a little better. And here's, here's my automation points. So suppose I want to just clean this up a little bit. That's super easy. I just have my arrow here, and, and I can take all these points in the middle, and select them and now I'm gonna hit delete and I get rid of that and I'm gonna hit these two and delete that so that and maybe we'll pull this one out and we'll hit delete there alright so now I'm gonna go all the way from zero to pretty much full value and we might go a little quicker than what we did and here's where I'm finally to go with my value at and we can see the values should display right here now let's see how this sounds this is gonna be a much smoother fade and I'm going to pull this down a little bit so you can actually watch the fader at the same time and, and see this automation. And so I hit, again, shift return to re go to back to the beginning. And now we're going to play. Now ah, it's a really smooth fade. 
bass comes in, guitar is in, and now just a little bit more push until the keyboards come in. Bingo. And now I'm all set, yeah? So <clears throat> the thing that I have to do is I have to extend this all the way because you heard how it went to zero. So now I'm just going to shrink this down so I can see my whole chart. And I'm going to extend this all the way so that my finer, final fade, fader value goes down to the end of my tune. And then at the end of the tune, I'm, I want to put in a fade out. So let's just make sure that that works got it. So now I'm at my full value. That's all nice. So now I'll go over here, and now I can take a look at my whole tune. Um, and, and I'm going to uh, go back and check and see where the end now here's my end point of my tune um, so I probably extended that way beyond what I need so let's let's pull this over here and now I can either do the same thing I could record or since I already have an automation window here and I know that I want to do a fade out at the end of my tune I can again I could just go in here and I could decide to add some dots now and just totally draw in my automation so <clears throat> what I always do, let's give a listen here. So I got like a little synth thing going on at the end and my groove going and, and a little repeat. And this is where I want to do my fade out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a dot here. And this is so that I, I maintain my master volume 108 all the way to that point of the tune. And then I'm going to put another dot here. All right, and now I'm going to grab my arrow and I'm just going to pull this down all the way to zero. Really simple. So that now I'm going to have a fade out from bar one, bar 65 to the end. So here I am. Nice smooth fade all the way down. Pretty easy, right? Just two dots there and a straight line fade. Really nice.